Joining us now is Papa John's founder and former CEO John Schnatter, who recently wrote an interesting article over on Newsmax.com called America's Small Business Economy Can Survive COVID, But Not Tax Hikes. John, thanks for being with us today. I, you know, I want to talk to you about the success that you've achieved. You achieved the American dream on a level uh, unlike what most have experienced. Is something like what you achieved with Papa John's possible in today's current economic climate? <clears throat> Uh, thanks for having me, Steve and Jen. Uh, yes, but much, much more difficult. Uh, I remember I founded Papa John's in 1984 uh, in the broom closet in Daddy's Tavern, and we had Reaganomics, which was uh, low regulation, low taxes, pro-business, and a much more favorable environment for small business owners to start their dream. Sure. John, I want to ask you about the percentage of small businesses that closed. Uh, and we have a chart to show you here, which I think is, is very telling and to me actually somewhat frightening. Um, it's not too shocking to see that as the lockdowns commenced into the spring, you saw this number plunge, the percentage of small businesses that are open. Then we saw a very nice rebound into the early part of last summer, basically this time of last year, a strong rebound of businesses reopening. But then if you look ever since then, ever since the middle of last summer, roughly 4th of July or so, we see this slow trickle down. Uh, I find this trend very worrisome as somebody who studied a lot of charts like this for a lot of years during my Wall Street career. What do you think we need to do as a country to get that number to vault higher again, to get another V uh, on this chart going forward? Well, you're absolutely right. Uh, over 60% of the new jobs created in this country are small business. So it really is the backbone for new job creation. And um, as the article points out, the op-ed points out, we can overcome COVID as a small business owner, but not these other headwinds. For example, the printing of money, the devaluation of the dollar, uh, the, um, uh, the higher taxes. I point that out in the article. And what right now, um, the workforce really has the small business owner and the mid-sized business by the throat. And usually uh, things swing. You have the boom and then you have the bust. And right now, the, the worker, uh, has the ad advantage. Uh, if that swings around to where the business owner has advantage, uh, that's over here just as unhealthy as this is over here. So I'd like to mm -hmm. see, um, you know, more healthy environment, pro-business, uh, pro-worker, but also right now we can't get employees to, to make the pizza and deliver the pizzas. Um, some of my best small business owners at Papa John's, and we were a family of small businesses, uh, I'll give you Exhibit A, Barry Hinkle, who was an award, the Small Business uh, of the Year Award at Papa John's. He's, uh, he's making more money than he's ever made because our sales are great. Everybody's stuck at home with plenty of money, but he can't staff his restaurants. And he's jumping ship. He's getting out. He's selling his stores. Even though he's making more money, he still uh, doesn't like the fact that he can't get employees and really do a good job with his customer service. So I think I don't know the end game here. Uh, but I don't like the dynamics of uh, promoting right. and incentivizing people not to work because that takes a toll on the people that wake up every day and make this country great, which is the small business owner and their employees. John, what do you say to people who, especially after the pandemic, say, I want to go into business for myself. I, I want to start a small business, but man, I'm not sure if now is the right time to do it. Um, I think that they're very wise to be cautious. Um, again, you know, usually a boom, you follow with a bust. And so the pendulum right now is, is swung to where people are not working. Now, if, when the incentives run out, which is still a long ways away for a small business owner in September, it will swing back. But I wonder about the psychological damage that we've done to the American worker to incentivize them not to work. I wonder what the, how that disseminates and how that sticks around with the psychology of, okay, sure. I've had an easy street. I've had handouts for, you know, a year, whatever. And now I'm also going to go back to work and make as much or even less money. I'm worried about that dynamics. Sure. No, it's an important point. Have we created a culture of sloth, to be quite honest, among some segment of our population? Most Americans, of course, are very hardworking, but there is a segment out there which, when given the opportunity, decided to not work. And is that going to have lasting effects? I want to also ask you, John, about the tax aspect, because you wrote about that uh, in detail in that excellent article on Newsmax. You talked about raising the corporate rate. I prefer to call it the business rate. Uh, the reason I say that is it mostly affects small and medium-sized businesses. Massive corporations have never paid the corporate rate because they are so skilled at legally avoiding and legally manipulating uh, their financials to not pay that 28% rate that Biden is proposing. Do you see that as a massive potential headwind for small business? 
exactly. To your point, we now have a workforce that we can't get employees. We have um, a situation where we're overregulated, and then we have a mindset from administration that is, if anything, the uh, anti-small business president in the administration. And now ha we have what you're talking about. So this is uh, this is not good. Um, big corporations have lawyers and accountants and lobbyists, right. so they can find ways to pay and skirt the issue. The small business owner doesn't have that luxury. They don't have lawyers and accountants and folks to figure out loopholes. So again, just one right. more. A log on the fire against small business, which, of course, you know, being a small business owner in the beginning and building a family of uh, small businesses, yeah, we had 5,000 stores, but it really was a family of small businesses. This dynamic uh, dynamics right now it confuses me and at the same time upsets me, and my heart goes out to the small business owner that makes this country great. Well, and John, you're using your success and your platform to fight for the next John Snatter who's out there uh, who wants to, or Joan Snatter, could be a woman, right, who's starting a new business, and, uh, and we need your, your participation. So thank you so much for joining us tonight, and thank you for being a great patriot. Thank you. Thank you, Jen. Thank you, Steve. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.